All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through Happy Positive Wednesday. Special shout out to my second bell student helper, Katie Good. Just always so helpful. All right, circumcenter. Okay. Again, I'm not using a coordinate, um, and I'm not using a straight edge to find these, although I will be using a straight edge to help myself out. I'm going to just strictly use algebra to do this. So here, let me just change this real quick. Because everything's positive. So it being positive Wednesday. A is at 8, 2. That looks like about there. And B is at 6, 10. And C is at 4, 12. Oh, this is going to be a random triangle. A is here. B, C. I'll use a straight edge to form a triangle. What kind of triangles does this appear to be, Sarah? So where would you expect the circumcenter, which connects what? What does the circumcenter connect? It connects the perpendicular bisectors. Where would you expect this one to be? Outside of the triangle. That's what we expect, OK? All right. So. Sarah, do you agree that we do not need to find the intersection of three lines here? That would be sufficient to only find the intersection of two lines. All right, and what do we have to do to find those lines? We've got to find the slope of those lines and a point on those lines. So I believe that since this is the perpendicular bisectors, we're going to need to find the midpoints. So Sarah, pick two midpoints and find them for me. Okay. Okay, now we got to make sure you guys should confirm that. Thank you. Every if we screw anything up, then Okay. So, after some debate, we have agreed upon those. Now, before I get going with the algebra, I just want to get a good grasp of what the heck I'm doing. So, I'm looking for the intersection of the perpendicular bisectors. And again, this is just a rough sketch. That's kind of like the perpendicular bisector. Do you agree? Bless you. And just remember, nobody else cares about you. What? Nobody else is blessing her? Thank you, Gabby. OK. So it looks like we're looking for this point, Sarah. Do you agree? And algebraically, how are we going to find that point? Well, we're going to find the intersection of what? The pink line and the green line. So let's get going on finding the equation of the pink line. What do we need to know to find the equation of the pink line? We need the slope. How do we find the slope of the pink line? Because we do not know. We do not know that that point's on there. Excellent. The pink line has the opposite reciprocal slope of the base that it's perpendicular to. Right? So what is the slope of CA? So it's negative 5 over 2 or 5 over negative 2. OK, so then what is the slope of the pink line? 2 fifths. All right. Our next step is to find the equation of the pink line. And just to gather my thoughts, I'll start by writing my favorite equation of a line. OK, Marilena? That's right, y is 7. M is 2 fifths, X is 6, plus B. 
So you get 7 is 12 fifths plus B. So B is, well, 7 is 35 fifths minus 12 is 23 fifths. Okay? And so, finally, the pink equation is? Bless you. You're welcome. All right. Now it's what? On to the green line. On to the green line. All right. Well, what is the slope of CB? We're going to need to know that. Do you agree that it's negative 1? What is this? 2 over negative 2? It's negative 1. Very good, Gav. So, what is the slope of the green line? Well, that's a lot nicer. Okay. So I jot down y equals mx plus b, and what do you get? Let's see, y is 1, m is uh, 1, x is 5. Thank you. That is an 11. No. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. That's an 11. It, I drew my line through it. Okay. 11 equals 5 plus B, so B is 6. B is 6 for the green one, huh? It's okay. It's okay. I, didn't, I just sketched it, so it's not drawn a scale. All right. I buy it. Um, so the equation is Y equals 1X plus 6. Set them equal. I'm not going to do this in my calculator because I think this one, this particular one, is faster for me to do in my head. 2 fifths x plus 23 fifths equals x plus 6. Any strategies on this one? Multiply by 5. 2x plus 23 is 5x plus 30. 3x equals negative 7. So x. is negative 7 thirds. And y? y equals 1 times negative 7 thirds plus 6. 6 is 18 thirds. So negative 7 thirds plus 18 thirds is 11 thirds.